Here we are, we're doing one of our regular interviews with the people behind CTU, and I'm here with our Vice Chair, Alex Proud, who was a founder member of Cameron Town Unlimited back in the day. So, Alex, tell us a little bit about why you got involved with CTU in the first place. Um, well, when I first started working in Camden, which is probably going back to 98-9, um, I walked to work, my first gallery, which was down on Greenland Road, and, and it was a dangerous walk. You'd walk over tramps, past drug dealers, past uh, graffiti. It felt horrible. Camden felt seedy. Uh, it was at the time that Channel 4 came out with the famous Christmas card, which had the, the, the old sign with drug dealer this way, homeless person that and way. Chuggers and yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and Camden was kind of an amazingly vibrant place, but it was also really scummy and horrible and not very nice to work in during the day uh, or to live in. And, you know, after a while, that just got me to the point where I wanted to do something about it. So I kind of happened upon, upon Chris Shaw and um, the two of us kind of got together and we never really looked back, which is quite weird. I mean, it's did like you, Did you years. know about things like business improvement districts and stuff like that, or did they come later? They came, they came later. I mean, to begin with, it was literally, I think we, the, the council has something called a town um, manager. Yeah, town centre manager. Town yeah. centre manager, and Chris and me kind of, I think Chris was already working with her a little bit, I joined in, and there was a sense back then of we deserve to have drugs and everything else because we had lots of young people and drugs and young people go together so tough. And, and it, was, it was really challenging an orthodox sort of point of view. And the exciting thing now, sitting back looking at is is just how much the fundamentals have changed, how much people accept it's our right to exist in, in, a, in a crime, drug-free, unvandalized town, even though it is one of the busiest markets in the world, and even though it is a vibrant, young, amazing place full of great poor people, doesn't mean you have to have all the bad side. And I love that, that we don't set up a second best, because that's where it all starts. Yeah, and I mean, back in, in those days, one of the really provocative things that CTU did, which I know you were really behind, was putting private security on the streets to try oh, and deal with that. Yeah. I mean, talk a little bit about the, the repercussions of that. Well, it was it was odd. You know, we went to the police and they basically told us to go away. And so we said, OK, well, well, we'll challenge you then. If you won't put the police on the streets, we'll do it ourselves. So we took, when, when the Business Improvement District was voted in, we took our entire first year's budget, which was incredibly controversial in any world, whether you're the police, the council, or running a Business Improvement District. And we spent the entire budget of, I think it was the best part, 400,000, 300,000 on uh, private security guards. So if you look ahead to, say, you know, five years from now, have you got any sense of what CTU might be like? Yeah, I think the, the big, for me, the huge uh, win that's available to us right now is this concept of some sort of creative festival to redefine Camden. Like, there's all these new organisations, you know, having people at like ASOS and Google and these huge, really creative agencies, ad agencies, PR agencies, design agencies. And I know that, you know, the Shoreditch technical roundabout and everything else, but I think we can show that we're doing that in a slightly different way, perhaps a more creative way, maybe a little less techy. But We've got something really unique here, and I think the next five years is going to be about redefining Camden. Camden has been redefined. It grew as a builder's town. It was famous for the fact that all the navvies and all the builders started here. It then became a completely Irish town for many years, and I think every once in a generation we redefine. And I think what's really exciting with CTU is we're at one of those really creative stages where CTU can help redefine Camden in a way that really helps it grow and achieve the next big thing. Really exciting stuff. Thank you very much for your time, Alex. As ever, interesting, provocative, thoughtful. Alex Brown. A pleasure.